Hi guys, welcome back to a weekend discussion of OMK. So here we are discussing OMK 2015 Muda. Second question of bargain B. So let's look at the questions. So, okay, uh, consider the sequence of digits obtained by writing consecutive integers from 1 to 1. 100,000, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, until 100,000. So how many times does the string 2015 appear in the sequence? Okay, let's scroll down for more space. Okay, how many times does the string 22015 appear in the sequence? So uh, this 2015, right? You have basically four cases to write. So one is that this is a whole this is a whole this is a whole number or part of a number. Might be here, might be here. So this is case one. And then uh for case so for the second case, uh you will have two zero one and then another five. So something like this. Okay. And then for the third case, you would have a how should I say 20? And then you split, and then 1, 5. So these are these two, which I have separated using a barrier. These are consecutive numbers. And then for case 4, we will have this 2, and then 0, 1, 5, something like that. Which obviously doesn't exist since there, there is no number that starts with a 0. So no. So let's just raise this case. Okay, uh, now, now we want to look at the first case, for, okay, so again, in this first case, we say that this 2015 is embedded, how should I say, should I say embedded, is it included in, it's a part of a number, it's, or it's a whole number itself, so maybe, okay, divide it into three parts again, so maybe it's the whole, it's the whole number itself, it's just 2015, then then next is 2016 then next is then before that is 2014 something like that so how many of these do we have do we have just only one okay and then uh because at most you could have five digits because it's from one to 100,000 right in excluding 100,000 you have five digits numbers so maybe this 2015 it is a part of a five digit number so maybe say uh zero. So maybe say the missing number is in front. So we have one two zero one five two two zero one five three two zero one five all the way to nine, right? So we have nine numbers over here. Or you could say that this two zero one five, and then the last number is at the back. So we have from zero to nine. So zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. So here we have ten numbers. Okay, so here up to here we have a total of 20 numbers and then in the second case which we separate the 201 and a 5 so the so if this is a four digit number this is a four digit number we would have 5201 and then 5202 and then and so on and so forth and then this is our 20150 over here so this is a four digit number and here are our five digit numbers okay so so somewhere uh so it's something something 201 and then uh some five something 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 so i think this is a also a five so is this missing number that we need to find? So here we have one number again. Okay, so we have uh five zero two zero one five one two zero one. So it's this is from zero to nine also. So we also have ten numbers for this case. Okay, so that brings our total count to thirty one. Now, uh, looking at this third case. We have uh, maybe this is a four digit number, and then the second case, maybe this is a five digit number. So something something two zero, then something something one five. So 
first is a four digit number so we can just guess one five two zero and then one five two one and then and so on and so forth so yeah here is our two zero one five so we have one here just one and then for five digit numbers so maybe something 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 two zero and then one five something 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 so this one should be two one lah. then here is also one five so we have this uh one five zero two zero one five one two zero one five one two zero so zero until nine again so here we have ten in total okay so adding up all of these all of these number of cases we get a 42 42 strings of 2015 so yeah this is all of this is all that this question has it involves just breaking down into uh, feasible cases possible cases and then just dealing it one by one so i hope you guys have taken away something from this discussion and we'll meet in the, during the next week where we will face the hardest question in this paper so see you next week and goodbye